What's happening everybody? How you doing? Here back with another video. I'm going to be working on the grinding jig for the bevel of the night. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I got to hit up lows real quick and notice there is a trailer. It's still got the doo-doos in it, but that's okay. Whatever. So all the neighbors are like, why does it smell like a cow farm out here in the neighborhood? Well, because that's why. Anyway, uh, let me check the garage real quick. I got me a tap and, um, tap and die set I bought so I can tap and die the angle iron that I'm going to do. So that's the plan. I am going to do it. I still am got this knife profiled out that I want to grind a bevel on and <clears throat> this is what I picked up at uh, on Amazon so if you're interested I'll link it in the uh, description below um, but uh, yeah it's a 40 piecer pretty big deal <laughs> no I just need something simple nothing crazy I need to make one hole and I'll show you how to make an easy grinding jig super easy anyway let's hit up the stove and get us a bolt ah one thing I need to check was what kind of sizes I had here all right let's uh, crack this guy open and take a look oh, everything is everywhere I can't wait to get my own shop when the house is built gonna be awesome um probably want a decent size what are we looking at here half inch half inch bolt will be good there's coarse thread half inch and then there's fine thread looks like so we can do either so I just gotta get a nut and a bolt and another nut probably for this for uh, to stop the other nut. All right, so let's go hit it up. Let's go. I'm just joshing you. I know where the key thing is, igniter, ignition. I know where it is. Uh, ignore, ignore. Buckle up, safety first. Oh, it's... My truck is so dirty still, it rained like all oh, that thing. What a dirty dirt bag. Let's go. Let us go. That guy looks like Johnny Knoxville. Not on drugs. Mask up, boys. Mask up. Quarter, 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 half. Mm. Where are the nuts at? <laughs> nuts. <clears throat> Where are they at? Uh, where are they at? Half inch, half inch. Where's a half inch nut? Nope, quarter inch. Three eighths, quarter. Finally, that took like 13 years to find. Yeah, we'll get three eighths as well, just to be safe. And maybe who knows what'll work better. <clears throat> we'll see, but let's go. That's all I need. That is all I need. I think I'm gonna go with zinc. Instead of stainless steel, zinc is a um, 
not as strong. And so if I get something that is not as strong, uh, then it's not going to create like grooves into the work rest. Um, so I want something that's not going to jack up and scratch up all the work rest and then make it hard to make smooth grinds. So I'm going to go with zinc. I'm going to get both variants though, 3 8 and half inch. So let's do that. go Oof, can't wait to get back to normal all right I don't like all those people saying uh, hey you know new normal no new normal no forget new normal okay no new normals this is uh let's not make this and all the weird stuff going on normal okay let's just uh, you know everybody be normal again instead of redefining what normal is just give everybody a license to be stupid and say that's normal okay no thank you no thank you Ugh. that truck was like why is he getting so close I like to back up real close to people make them nervous you know what I mean make them a little nervy I guess the only convenient thing about living in the city now is that the hardware store is like really close. Other than that, that is some serious lowrider. Other than that, I prefer me's the country, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, sorry lady, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Shoof, man, Fast and the Furious in this Honda Odyssey. Woo, watch out Vin Diesel. Okay, we are back from the store. Or now, what we need to do is this piece of angle iron right here. It's got a nice base, which is nice because that'll make it just that much more accurate of a grind. It's just that this part, you know, is a little too much. So what I want to do is I kind of want to. Because um, if I grind like this, you, you know, it's going to obviously the grinder is going to hit the top of here. So what we need to do is cut this probably like in half so that when we make contact with the belt, it's going to actually, you know, contact the blade we're looking to grind away. So I don't have a metal band saw, which sucks. So if you want to donate one to me, that's cool. Um, so I'm just going to do it with um, angle grinder okay the good old-fashioned angle grinder that's what we're gonna do ladies and gentlemen's oh uh, yeah yeah that's the plan that's the plan all right I'm back okay I got my old this is old snowboarding coat that it's so old and I use it for just everything. Okay, we got our nuts and our bolts. Okay, now uh, we need to measure and cut. I don't remember if we had if we had a three eighths tap or not. Yes, we do. Right on, right on. And first we gotta cut that piece off. <clears throat> then we're gonna drill. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, all right. Mark and cut. Probably just the height of the blade all together, all in all, is what where I'll kinda mark it. Cool, it's like right at 
almost three centimeters. So that's what I'm gonna do on this side. And that's where we mark that. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Cool. Nothing too scientific, okay? Now we're gonna draw a straight line. Looks good. Again, it doesn't matter too much because the part that's gonna matter the most is the, the part that sits with the ground. This could be kinda whatever, it doesn't matter because eventually we're, we're just gonna mount our blade like that. So we'll clamp it like that, and then we'll be able to shoop, something like that. That's the idea. Who's here? Hey, you don't have any coat? You don't have any shoes? It's cold, what? Go ahead. Poor Alex. Those puppy dog guys. I got used to them though. I figured her out. All right. Let's cut it. Woo. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I need to get me a metal band cutting saw or a metal cutting band saw because angle grinder it ain't all that fun now at least now I can kind of clean it up on the belt grinder that'll be a little better but whew, okay takes a while but whatever if it's what you got it's what you got you know I mean you just use the tools you got and be safe is, is all I can say Okay, there's our halfway point. Once I get my workshop, I will be able to fix all these instruments down and not have to have all that wobble and every other stupid thing like look at that that's stupid Well, don't buy that. You notice it cracked. Yeah, it cracked, so I will be not recommending this thing and I will be returning it. All along, I'm an idiot, of course. I didn't do the right hole. So, I, me, uh, dumb old me, I uh, had a bit of a brain fart. I stupidly, and you guys might have caught this in the video, I drilled the first hole with a 3 8 bit, which I was I was planning on tapping to a 3 8 bolt, and you gotta use a smaller bit, obviously. And so what I did was, <laughs> I drilled me another one. Uh, it's all right, though. It's not gonna harm anything if there's another you know, hole there, but now, that just keeps me from having to run to the store for uh, 
uh, what would that make it? Three eighths, uh, what would it make it? Seven sixteenths or seven, something like that maybe. Yeah, uh, so whatever, it'll work. <clears throat> but now we're good. Yeah, now we're good. Got our bolt here, right? And our correct size hole, I just tapped it. And see that peaks on in the other side. So what that does now, you'll notice, see the angle? So I can adjust the angle however I want for the grinding, okay? Technically do that and put a clamp on there. I wouldn't recommend this clamp per se, but like a smaller clamp, uh, maybe a C, yeah, C clamp and just kind of at whatever angle you want, right? And and that's that so yeah so whatever angle you want you just adjust it right so and then you can kind of make your grinds make your grinds all right so that's the setup right so you got the bolt threaded through there right and then you got two bolts in here to kind of to be your lock nuts so you can get it to whatever whatever angle you want right and and then go to town boy so that's the idea simple grinding jig ready to roll uh, I'm gonna return this set um, this piece of junk um, I mean it broke first try so that's not cool and I don't know I don't think I was doing anything wrong uh, I think I was kind of doing it as I sh as I needed to, but I mean, there's a crack. The little inside things that hold that thing <coughs> are cracked. So that's the video for now. Just how to make a simple grinding jig. Take it easy. Until next time, y'all have a good one.